Taoiseach, Red Sea polling shows that 75% of Irish people think that Ireland has taken in too many asylum seekers, and yet this week your Department of Justice admitted that they're refusing to deport migrants whose asylum claims have been rejected. In fact, so far, thousands of people have illegally entered the state without documents, which is an offence under the 2004 Immigration Act, uh, and yet there's only been one prosecution for that offence in the last three years. Why are you facilitating Irish immigration law being broken against the public's wishes? Well, I don't accept that we are. Um, what we say, and I always say when it comes to um, the issue of asylum and migration, is that we need to be fair uh, and we also need to be firm. We need to be fair to people who are coming here uh, seeking refuge, um, fleeing war, uh, fleeing persecution. We need to make sure that uh, their uh, applications are assessed quickly and granted quickly and we're speeding that up all the time. We also need to be firm with people, um, people who are coming here uh, as economic migrants um, but are claiming international protection falsely, uh, that we will also make a decision on your application but, quickly but and the Department of a Justice deportation is order will be, will be served on you. The, the Department of Justice has admitted that there are people whose claims are rejected yeah. and then they're allowed to stay in the state. So is that not making a joke of Irish immigration law and border control? No, it doesn't because it does depend on, on, on on, the, on different circumstances. So sometimes people will have their application for refugee status refused, but they will be gra granted leave to remain on humanitarian grounds. Uh, so for example, uh, there are some countries that it's illegal to leave. Uh, there are some countries that won't take people back. Uh, even if you try to deport them, they won't take them back. So it's not often the way it's presented uh, in, in the media. Um, if you work in this area, if you understand this area, if you meet people and understand their individual circumstances, it does depend. Uh, there may be people who are refused refugee status because they're not genuine refugees, but it may still be the case that they can't be returned home uh, for other reasons, uh, and they're then allowed to stay on humanitarian grounds. But generally speaking, uh, when a deportation order is issued, uh, those people will re will leave. They'll remove themselves from the state. And yes, sometimes we do have to enforce those orders as well. Well, well the head of the head of Inish. Uh,